what's up guys real life time for me it's been a week well it's been a little bit more than a week uh you know that's this is why i kind of you know took a little while to post the second episode of trust to treasure uh again you know i wanted to set this off on auction on the stuff that i bought i wanted to wait a week and you know it's sad to say that not everything sold i'm not gonna lie like most of everything did not sell so uh one thing i did mention you know in the beginning of this episode and the beginning of the first one is that i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys because if you're gonna start what i'm doing you know, or whatever or what other like flippers are doing like selling on ebay or selling on any other platform you have to keep in mind that as a beginner you know you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna go through hard times where you're gonna get um like you're gonna get unmotivated and so this is why like if it was as easy to sell stuff on ebay i'm pretty sure everyone would do it er everyone would flip and you know like it's it's not hard but it's not easy either like you have to learn a lot of uh, tips and tricks which i did look up some youtube videos for myself to learn so throughout this series you're gonna see me suffer a little bit see me get maybe unmotivated i'm lucky enough to have a partner like uh drifts with brian because he you know has been doing this so longer than i have you know his channel is gonna be about selling on ebay so you know hey check him out too go ahead and subscribe to him if you haven't already but um so yeah i um i listed all the items that i bought in today's video i you know let them be for a week on ebay i uh put them on auction and uh was safe to say that not everything sold but one issue i do have on ebay is that not everything gets as many views it's like the algorithm is kind of against you sometimes you have to gain momentum and so what i did instead is that i also put some of those items on um, offer up and so I'm, I'm pretty sure that yeah like i'm not just gonna be selling my stuff on ebay i'll let it probably sit like within a week and once i see that the views aren't that high then i'm gonna just like <laughs> move on like i was like they're still gonna be on ebay but i'm gonna put them in other platforms as well because shake my head so look here this is my page i've only sold three things out of like the all the stuff that i've bought on um the first episode in today's episode so here you're gonna see 49 active and 49 unsold basically the unsold stuff is just like the auction stuff but it's relisted it's weird how they do that because yes it's 49 unsold but you relisted them automatically anyways you know like ebay gives you that option where if it doesn't sell within like a week or a couple of days it relists them because uh if you noticed uh ebay doesn't really like give you like it gives you a certain amount of items here like here it gives you a limit of what you can post um within a month or like how much money you can like post for sale within a month basically and so that's why the whole relisting things so like here list up to 250 items for free every month so that's why the whole uh, relisting thing exists because now like even though it's the same item if you relist it it's gonna you know count it as another listing and so i mean yeah like that's why you'll see the whole 49 unsold and 49 active it's the same items but here you're gonna see that um the three stuff that i sold was basically so here you're gonna see the golly nutrition ones so that one i put it on an auction for 14 dollars. i made a little bit of a profit there like a seven or eight dollar profit because again i did buy this item for seven dollars and um so i have three packs you know you saw me buy three packs one of those packs i put on an auction the other two packs i have them for sale because i want to see how much money it would have made by auction and not you know like put everything there because those those ones i did see on ebay that they you know that people recently buy them for like 30 dollars or 40 and so this one i'm not too happy about there's still profit i'm just not too happy about it and it's a good thing that i had the other two packs like not on auction the other one that i did ship already was the mandalorian now with this one it sold 14 dollars right i bought it for 25 but then that was also including the black panther one uh this one was for actually yeah th this item was from the first episode when i bought the mandalorian one and the black panther together for 25 dollars so here I made like a two or three dollar profit if the other Black Panther uh, one sells as well. And this one was the Marvel cards. Uh, this one I had said in the first episode that um, people would buy it for ten dollars. My mistake here was putting it on auction because I wanted I want stuff to sell fast. Like I still made a profit for sure because these ones I paid for the, for a whole dollar, right? And so here, four dollars and sixty six cents profit. The only thing that really sold um, 
like for in today's episode was this and yeah it was just one thing oh this on ebay i sold another item uh it was the dragon balls i don't know if i showed y'all that one in the video i think i did i mean so i also bought dragon balls i'm pretty sure that i did show y'all um i bought dragon balls they didn't sell on ebay so i listed them on offer but literally the same day that i listed them on offer up someone offered someone bought <laughs> someone bought them and so let me see if i can actually show you what i mean when it comes to people viewing my items on ebay compared to um to offer up uh let me see if it just shows here because i know it shows on my phone for sure ah there it is so here you're gonna see the views the watchers and the bids as you can see here with these bracelets no views no watchers no bids and this one was already listed i'm pretty sure um so one thing that i want to compare though is so yeah look at these views right three views one view one view like it's obvious it's not selling no one knows this is out there and so again you know, i've looked up to some tricks on how to beat that algorithm i have i have a bit on this by the way bid receipt will sell i mean yeah like this i have a bit on this and i have 15 views on it um so that's pretty cool uh but yeah like i just want you to see five views two views four views two four views like all of these things are from the first in today's episode nine views but like everything is literally except i mean in some of the stuff under at least 15 views everything is under 10 to like 15 views it's not even that many and it's no wonder why not that many people are bidding they don't know this exists so right y'all see this so now i'm gonna go into my offer up page you could already see the big difference i literally put these on auction like two days from like this two days 39 views 25 38 80 views 38 10 don't get me yet but i'm 10 but 34 views two conversations 30 views 27 50 views 52 26 11 views and then these were the dragon ball z ones that i sold for 20 dollars uh i also took a video uh let me just show you the conversation real quick before i show the video but um yeah so this guy was really cool uh I did record them as I just said, but as a YouTuber or as a, like, as an influencer, I guess you could say, when you're going to record someone, you know, just make sure that you ask for consent, just like I did with this guy. So he said, hi, is this still available? Yes, it is. Uh, he lives in Irving. So at first there was a storm that day, by the way, on March 21st. Um, one thing, yeah, so I live in Heltham City. I'm just going to blur that out just so you don't really get to see how close i live i mean this address that i just blurred out it's a gas station and so he said if we can go somewhere closer to where he lives and so at first i was like you know what gas money is too high i didn't want to but then i put myself in the buyer's place and i, I wanted to get a good review as a seller and so um here he sent me so this one i'll show because it's just a quick trip it's literally just a quick trip I, I don't even live near there but um for both of us it took us like 20 minutes to actually get there so we met up there uh i sold that item for 20 dollars it was like late at night by the way and i just wanted to sell it because that same day as soon as i posted it it sold i told them about my youtube channel and then, yeah here is where i asked yeah just heads up do you mind if i record our meet it's for a youtube video i can blur your face or if it's okay to record at all he said it's fine and so you know i asked for his con for his consent and you know this is the video now of like him buying it <laughs> isaac yeah hey what's up hey, man, how you doing very good chill all right so i run a bag uh i put it in the description that the box was damaged mm -hmm. but the dragon balls are good bro Okay. All seven of them. All right, cool. Okay, so it was twenty dollars. Yeah. Okay. Let me try this real quick. There you go. All right, but appreciate it. All right, man. All right, take care. care. Money, money. Thank you, Isaac. 
but yeah um it's just like i said uh with offer up i got way more views i got conversations so with offer up um you you're gonna do the conversations and i'll do a separate video of like some of the funny conversations that i had with people because like the same message you're always gonna get is hi is this available you respond to it yes it's available but they never reply back so like what's the point of you asking me if it was available like here bro <laughs> hi is this available hello i misspelled it but i still corrected myself yes it, it's available that's it i've had like five of those and you're always gonna get that on offer for some reason but yeah my point the point that i wanted to make here though is that when you're on when you're selling on one platform and it's just not selling post it on other platforms you might as well you know post it as in many platforms as you can i'll most likely start posting maybe on facebook market or like on the app mercari but for right now i just want to try these two so i can like learn first i want to master both of these apps offer up and ebay because if you're going to be a beginner with a lot of apps then they're not really going to sell like master these apps know what to put in the descriptions what to put here you know how because another frustrating thing was also um how much to charge for shipping because i'm not gonna pay for shipping right because that's losing money i'm gonna charge it for shipping if they want it they're gonna pay for shipping unless they want to come and pick it up which in offer up it's the most likely thing but um yeah like do your research learn about it and again I, i'm gonna be completely honest with these episodes sometimes i'm gonna get unmotivated uh with these things i actually started offer up like about two years ago but then the pandemic started and i stopped doing it i sold like a bunch of yeah like shoe crumb oh one other uh one other one last uh, point that i wanted to make too i was it was getting so frustrating um i'll find it here there was which one is it wait did they take it off in here too no way i haven't sold them yet I'm gonna have to check on that later. So, no, I thought I. Okay. Okay, okay. so with these uh, shoe charms, yeah, I, I like to buy <laughs> another example. I like to buy this. Okay, you're available to pick it up. Well, it's like a ship. Just read it. That's it. Just read it. <laughs> Ignored it. Oh, it's, it's annoying. Anyways, with these ones, I would post them on eBay you know obviously they're not actual like gucci did not officially make this it's obvious they did not make it and so on ebay when i would post it i think it's still on here anyways but um yeah like things like these um let me see basically let me go to do, 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 sold unsold go unsold i think it was unsold uh aha uh -huh. for instance like with this look how many times i had to change the title in ebay just so i asked around right this one view these viewers are probably the same people that are re reporting it but i'm not saying in the description that like these official luxury brand companies are the ones that and it's not going to show me these brand companies are not the ones that are making these shoe charms and i would literally put it in the description as unbranded because at first i did put the brands i'm not gonna lie it's not gonna be here but um I list, I relisted really these these things like five times, and it was pissing me off. I'm sorry, it, it was getting me so upset to the point where I'm like, no, you know what? I'm gonna try offer up, and offer up doesn't take it down. It's just that some of these people report it, and it gets annoying because I know it's not eBay's like algorithm or computer that's like taking it down. Because I took off all the names. Like I got to the point where all I put for this one was just 23 charms. That's it just 23 charms and as you can see it's the ones that have the louis Vuitton ones i think uh which one is it? like it, it basically has a lot of luxury brands in this and ebay would keep on taking it down to the point where i just put okay 23 charms that's it 23 charms and still took it down they still took it down so i went to offer up so that's you know my last uh advice to y'all is that when y'all like are relisting stuff like this some apps may take it down because people annoying buyers that have no business in reporting it when i'm not when i'm like in the description i'm literally putting it that it's an unbranded item it is not made by gucci this is not made by gucci at all 
if you want it you buy it if you don't want it move on as soon as you see that it's like not a, like an original or made by gucci just don't buy it you don't have to report it i'm literally putting it on the description oh, heck. i'm sorry you're gonna see me suffer in this series and this is what it's all about like it gets personal sometimes and you know you, you gotta keep it professional i don't know who's been reporting my stuff you're gonna have to deal with these things if you you know choose to be in this type of business and it's cool you know because once you get the hang of it once you get that momentum going you're gonna have a second source of income which is which it this will this is exactly what it's all about having another source of income and not just depending on your job it's all about the hustle so again you know guys thank you if you have any questions on how i list my stuff or like how i do what i do uh just leave it down in the comments down below i'll answer them promise you i will not no one almost comments on my videos so you know if you have any questions i got y'all okay i got y'all i'm actually happy to speak to my fans if i have any but thank you guys again i'll see you on the, the next video hopefully um I can learn a few more tips and tricks and y'all can follow me along the way. I'll teach it to y'all too. So yeah, thank you guys. Like the video, comment down below and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. And don't forget, subscribe to SCI Metal. Yeah, I said subscribe to SCI Metal. I said subscribe to SCI Metal. I said subscribe.